This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well, this should come as no surprise to those of you who are awake, who actually realize these politicians are friends. They're in the same networks together. They're satanic networks. They are occultists. That Donald Trump, who is claiming to be this Christian, and unfortunately we have people who claim to be awake or claim to be truthers or Christian truthers or whatever they want to call themselves, who have created this Donald Trump prophecy, so to speak, where they think that Donald Trump is going to come in and save the day, that he was a chosen one, and all this ridiculousness that some people are actually falling for. Now, I don't support Hillary Clinton, and I don't support Donald Trump, just to make that clear, because every time I talk against one of them, the other side comes over here and wants to talk about it as if I'm a supporter of Hillary or I'm a supporter of Trump. I support neither. They're both Satanists. The election's not real. Your vote doesn't count. Presidents are selected, not elected. But for those of you who believe in the Trump prophecy, now we have Donald Trump lighting the Daya, which is part of the Diwali Hindu festival of lights, which is a satanic festival. All of these other religions that worship deities and demons are false religions. No man who claims to be a man of God, a follower of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the only one anyone should be following. No man who says that they believe and follow Jesus Christ should be participating in the lighting of this Daya at a charity concert where he said that he's all about Hinduism. He supports Hinduism. Now I understand, oh, he's got to say that for votes. Oh, he's got to do this. That people are going to defend him for it. But let's talk about the Diwali festival, which happens to take place this year on October 30th. It, it varies year to year depending on the moon alignment and things like that, which is show you that it's satanic because that's exactly how the occultists operate. They do their rituals on certain dates where the moon lines up, whether it's the blood moon or it's the super moon, okay? That's how they perform their rituals based on that as well, and specific dates such as Halloween and All Hallows' Eve. So this holiday now lining up on All Hallows' Eve this year is an annual Hindu celebration where Hindus get together to light up their lives for the five days of festivities. Marked by Hindus, Sikhs, and Lans, the event's theme is Triumph of Light Over Darkness and Good Over Evil, Knowledge over ignorance and hope over despair, as well as houses being decorated with candles and colorful lights. Those who are marking the celebration share gifts and recite prayers in the name of the happy, healthy futures. And it is also known as the Festival of Lights. Now, where do we always hear light? Right? There's, just like I talk about the word magic and we hear it all the time, we also hear light and the word lights. They believe that Lucifer is the light bearer. They believe that he is the morning star, Lucifer, that he is the bearer of light. That's why you always hear them talking about light. You see it in the Masonic teachings, you see it in Crawley's teachings, you see it all around the Satanic teachings, the talking about light. So these holidays that are all about lights, they are not talking about God. They're talking about deities and demons that they are worshiping. Now on this holiday, they honor a goddess of wealth and people will start the new business year at Diwali and some will say prayers to the goddess for a prosperous year ahead as they light candles and float them into the sky. Everybody gets excited about it. It says the fireworks that they shoot off during this festival signify Rama's return to his kingdom after being exiled for 14 years and defeating King Ravana when the local people set off their own version of fireworks. I'm sorry. That is worshiping of a false de deity. Okay, because there's only one kingdom. That's it. There's one kingdom. That kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. And that's where our father sits. Not Rama, who's returning to his kingdom after being exiled for 14 years. Okay, these holidays, and I know other people are afraid to talk about other religions. They're all fake and set up religions. I don't care what people say. I know Hindus will come here and say, that's ridiculous. Oh, how dare you disrespect my faith and all this stuff. These are all set up religions that worship false deities. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. That's it. So for Donald Trump to be lighting the Daya in preparation for the Diwali festival, when the Bible tells us many times about worshiping false gods, Exodus 23, you shall have no other gods before me. Corinthians 10, 20, no, I imply that what pagan sacrifice they offer to demons and not to God. I do not want you to be participants with demons. Exodus 20, 2 through 6, 
I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Participating in a ritual like this is blasphemous. If you claim to be a Christian, participating in a ritual that is worshiping other gods, false gods, deities, and demons. So here's Donald Trump, who everybody is still anointing. Oh, he's, he, you know, the system is against him. He's really a Christian. He's really going to stop us from the new world order. And I don't want to hear this stuff. Oh, well, he did it for extra votes or he had to do it. I wouldn't do it under any circumstance. Would I light the dia? Okay. I have no interest. I wouldn't be anywhere near the thing or celebrating the festival or saying that it's okay to sell, to believe in these other religions because I don't believe in freedom of religion. I don't believe in it because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and everything else is a lie. And they've created all of these false religions and all these false religions which have ceremonies on these holidays which are, you know, paying homage to the light and the light bearer, all done mainly through these religions on days of super moons and certain lunar moons and all of this stuff. It all ties in together as satanic worship because that's what it is. It's satanic worship. There is only one truth and that's Jesus Christ. The Bible is the only truth on this planet. So all these other religions which are set up to worship these false gods and these deities. We know Hindus also worship Shiva and Kali. And I've talked about that. Many people have with CERN even having the statue out there, the destroyer of the world and the rebirth. All the common themes that we hear throughout the New World Order, the rebirth, the destruction, and the rebirth, the transformation, all common themes throughout these religions. Now, Donald Trump will still walk around claiming to be a Christian and people will still believe it. It blows my mind that there's people that actually think for one second that this guy is an actual Christian. I've already done videos where he's openly said that he he doesn't even know what he's talking about. He doesn't follow the Bible. He doesn't follow Jesus Christ's teachings. He doesn't know anything about scripture because he was raised the same way the rest of these Satanists are raised through the occult, being indoctrinated with the occult. So for those of you who still want to defend him, would you, for one second, light the dia? Would you celebrate the Diwali celebration, which coincidentally is on All Hallows' Eve? Wow, must be a coincidence. Now, it always occurs around the same dates at the end of October into November. That must be a coincidence too, right? You know, this satanic time period that is October 13th to the 31st in America, specifically All Hallows' Eve, the few days leading up to Halloween. These are all satanic dates. So these other religions who won't say, oh, we worship Satan, but we worship, you know, we worship Shiva, you know, this thing with 10 arms that wants to destroy the world and rebuild it. Oh yeah, let them, allow them to worship that stuff. It's all brainwashing. So for those, again, who believe Donald Trump is a Christian, would you participate in this? Would you be involved in this ritual? Because that's what it is. It's a ritual. No Christian should be involved with this. Nobody who truly believes in Jesus Christ should be lighting the dia. This should just be more proof to people out there who continue to think and say, well, he's the lesser of two evils. Yeah, well, Hillary Clinton is the scum of the earth. She's as satanic and disgusting of a witch as there is, but so is Donald Trump. Just because he comes across cooler and he pretends to be a Christian, don't fall into this deception. This whole thing has already been predetermined. So thinking that there's a prophecy coming, because I still, I cannot believe that people believe in this Trump prophecy where Trump, where Donald Trump is supposedly going to save the world. Okay. Jesus Christ will save the world when he returns. Donald Trump is not saving anything. He wouldn't be in this position if he wasn't one of them, if he wasn't there to make Hillary look good or for some other reason that we don't know yet. And I'll leave this video linked up because this is a campaign ad that Donald Trump is running where he's talking about Hindu Americans and Hinduism and the traditions of Hinduism. And it's absolutely comical, the quality of the video. It looks like it was made, you know, in Windows Media Player or something like that, where, you know, he's spending, they talk about spending millions of dollars on these ad campaigns. It's, it's unbelievable, the quality of it for a guy who claims to be a billionaire. It's laughable. It kind of reminds you of a skit from like one of those like Saturday Night Live or something like that. But here's Trump lighting the dia. For those of you, again, who want to think that he's a Christian, would you participate? What Christian would participate in a satanic ritual? Because that's what this is. It isn't honoring our Father in heaven. This is not honoring Jesus Christ. 
This is honoring other gods, false gods, the gods I just named in this video. This is a Hindu tradition which honors Rama and his return to his kingdom. That's what the lighting of it honors and the fireworks that come and oh, the lighting of the candles and floating them into the sky. That's what it's all about. Worshiping a false god, a demon, a deity. It is satanic at its core because there is only one God. And that is our father in heaven, not Rama. Okay. I don't know where Rama's kingdom is. It might be a Burger King, but it sure isn't in heaven. And no Christian should be participating, even if they're just trying to be nice and get a PR picture and participating in a satanic ritual, because that's what it is. And I'm sorry if that offends people out there. It doesn't mean you shouldn't pray for people who are believe in Hinduism. Obviously, there's plenty of people who are Indian of that descent who believe in Jesus Christ. Hinduism is the belief in these false gods and these false demons. They're deities. That's what they are. And you'll see a lot of the same demons with different names that the Satanists worship. And the dates line up. All of this. this is how all of these false religions have been set up around the world. To worship these false gods. There's only one God. Our Father in heaven. That's it. So I'm sorry if that offends anyone out there. But I'm speaking the truth. That doesn't mean you don't pray for people who believe in Hinduism. Of course you pray for them. Just as much as you still pray for Satanists. That they wake up and come back to our Father in heaven. And bring their souls back to him. And get back in the Bible. But to honestly slap the back of Donald Trump and give your support for him and think that he's an actual Christian when he's participating right here in a satanic ritual. It's just an oxymoron type of thing to do because he's not a Christian and neither is Hillary and they're both Satanists. And this is a predetermined election. So don't fall for this Trump prophecy because it's an absolute joke. I thank you for listening to today's show. I'll leave the video linked up below if you want a good laugh. It's ridiculous. Again, thanks for listening. God bless all of you and your families.